In today's video, we're gonna break down five incredible facts about the amazing Doberman Pinscher. Welcome back to the Fenrir Doberman Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist, and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about Dobermans, and then how to become high-level canine leaders so that you can raise perfect Dobermans yourself. So if you're a lifelong Doby lover, thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Doberman, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five incredible and interesting facts about one of the world's most glorious dog breeds. And we'll start our five facts today with just how many breeds went into creating the Doberman. We'll talk more about who bred them and why later in this video, but it wasn't a simple breed creation by any means. Now, unfortunately, we don't have detailed descriptions of exactly what went into the Doberman, but we're able to make a pretty accurate and educated guess. These breeds include Rotties, German Shepherds, German Shorthead Pointers, Weimaraners, Manchester Terriers, Boserons, Great Danes, Black and tan terriers and greyhounds it really is an eclectic mix isn't it but it might just be me but when i look at the doberman i can pretty much see every one of those breeds in there or at least how they contributed so our fact at number four might as well stay on this topic really and when we know someone put that many breeds into creating a dog the next question naturally is who does that and how did they have so many access to so many different breeds and that person was Herr Carl Louis Doberman who wore many hats including he was a police officer tax collector night guard and interestingly a dog catcher so many of these breeds uh, jobs required a guarding breed and due to him having so much access to so many of these breeds as a dog catcher old mr doberman knew exactly what we wanted in his dog and where to get them from now at number three you'll notice that many dobermans are seen with different ear configurations these aren't genetic variations these different styles of ears are done on purpose by humans for different reasons oftentimes it's cosmetic these days and we'll do a whole video on doberman cropping and docking and i'll give you my opinion on it in that video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it but originally dobermans were cropped and docked for purpose as working guard dogs are expected to be able to engage in fights if need be and ears and tails often offered a weak spot and vulnerability for the Doberman so owners would simply remove them in the dog's life to remove any potential weakness for their dogs so our fact at number two is about that violent history and that violent history might make you concerned about the Doberman maybe it makes you think that they're dangerous dogs but our fact here helps dismiss that altogether now all dogs can be dangerous in the wrong hands but in the right hands the Doberman is a wonderful family companion and breeders are more and more breeding for temperament and the breed is transitioning away from intense guardian breeds to loving family companions with guardian guarding skills reserved for emergencies. Now, before we dive into our last fact, I want to thank you if you are still here with us. If you are, make sure you drop a comment down in the comment section and say hello, and I really hope you're enjoying this video. If you didn't know, I've created a lot of online resources and helped thousands of people become high-level canine leaders and raise perfect Doberman companions. If you're thinking of getting a new Doberman, or maybe you've just got one, then I really do highly suggest you check out our Ultimate Doberman Owner's Guide. It offers detailed video lectures on everything that you need to know to become a high level canine leader specifically for a Doberman and further details on all the areas to be able to offer a healthy life for this glorious breed on top of all of that it also includes my perfect puppy guide which is my step-by-step -step guide for the entirety of the first year of your dog's life to ensure that you are a great owner that is able to raise perfect Dobermans yourself it also includes my canine boot camp course which as a canine behaviorist is the protocol I use with all of my clients to restructure to their relationship with their dog and is designed to fix in the vast majority of behavior issues now even people that have followed my perfect puppy course and have that perfect canine companion still often do a one month boot camp once a year i do this myself as this helps
helps to fine tune certain areas. And every time I do it, it takes my relationship to an even higher level. And last but certainly not least, it includes our raw food masterclass. I believe feeding your dog a raw diet is the best way to feed your dog, but it can be a confusing and intimidating thing to do. We break it down into incredibly easy processes to allow you a seamless transition. If you're interested in it more, you can go and look at some of our testimonials from thousands of our very happy clients and see if it's something that could be just as life-changing for you and your dog as it was for them and theirs. All the links are down in the description box below. So the fact that number one has to be here is it's my favorite part about the Doberman and that's just simply their intelligence and trainability. Now as a canine behaviorist I often see the worst of the worst cases and behavior modification and rehabilitation is a very different thing from simply dog training. But don't get me wrong there is overlap and there's areas of obedience that we will use to help with behavior modification and it's that reason that the Doberman are probably my favorite breed I get to work with. They are an absolute joy to work with. They are so eager to work so eager to please and so intelligent makes them one of the most trainable breeds on the planet which is the reason most people have them in their top five if not top three most trainable breed list if you're interested in getting a doberman and can be a calm consistent leader the sky is truly the limit of what is possible with the doberman pincher I hope you enjoyed our five facts today. If so, make sure you hit that like button. Get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Doberman videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Femre Doberman Show.